Alright, so today I'm gonna be telling you guys the story of the first time that I got fucking baked. Alright, so me and my friends, right, we used to all go to this little church youth group thing. Like every Wednesday we would all go and most of the time it would just be like games and shit. And we would all learn a little bit about, you know, Jesus and all that. And so one day we all went to a pottery class, right? And at the pottery class, we're all, you know, we get there, right? And they're just telling us how to fucking, you know, mold the, the clay and whatnot. And I'm just waiting for this bitch to shut the fuck up so I can put my hands into this fucking clay and get into that shit. And so finally, this pottery teacher lets us, uh, you know, she brings out the clay and we all we all start just having at it. We're allowed to make whatever the fuck we want. And I'm sitting over here making this little like bowl thing and I, I put like a face in it and I'm not going to lie. I'm pretty proud of myself for that one. That shit was cool as fuck. And I look over at what my other friends are making and bro, I kid you not, I see one of them making a fucking bong and I'm sitting here like, bro, we're at fucking youth group for a church right now. Why in God's name are you making a bong? And they're like... I have multiple friends and they're all like assembling different pieces of it so it all adds up to one thing and I, I swear to god the whole fucking youth group is just staring at us staring us the fuck down and I'm like yo <laughs> what the fuck are you guys doing and so they, they we all finish we all finish with our things and uh everyone's like oh what is that what is that and I'm like hey this is a bowl uh, I don't know what the fuck I'm going to put in this. It's just a fucking bowl. And, and they asked my friends and they're like, oh, it's just a flower vase. Really, bro? A flower vase? All right, bro. So we all leave the church. Like everyone, everyone at this fucking youth group knows this is a bong. I mean, they're not stupid. And we bring the bong like to the car and ever they're all just laughing. I'm like, you guys know that everyone there knew that that was a bong, right? Like come on it's fucking obvious and so we just drive back home like nothing fucking happened uh fast forward two days later my friend um in this case let's let's um let's call him jack all right so he comes to pick me up and um i get in the car and he's like bro i have the bong do you got any weed and i was like fuck no i don't got any weed but, <laughs> but I could sneak into my mom's room and take some, because I used to do this a lot. I would always take some from my mom before I found any plugs, you know? So, uh, he's like, do it, do it, do it. And it, like, I'm just like, bro, all right, if you want me to do it that bad. So I go into my house, sneak into my mom's room, get a little baggie and fill it up with like less than half a gram of weed and i take it back out and he's like bro did you get the shit did you get the shit and i'm like yeah dude yeah i got the shit like like this is some sort of fucking james bond mission so he drives over to my friend gavin's house and we pick him up and we all go to this this parking lot um by the synagogue which is like a jewish church i think and we used to like smoke here all the time this is like the smoke spot and so we sit there for a couple of minutes and Jack whips out this big ass fucking clay bong that we made in church. And there's no water in it. There's no nothing. And then he whips out some fucking tinfoil and he, he makes like a small hitter with the tinfoil and slides that bitch into the to the hole where you put the hitter in. There's no water in this, no nothing. And he has me bring out the little bag of weed and I, f I fill up the bowl, right? And we just go at this shit. We're hotboxing this fucking car with a clay bong we made at church at a synagogue. And we're smoking this bitch up, all right? So this is my first time ever hotboxing. This is my first time, like, ever smoking more than, like, a small, small amount of weed. And let me tell you guys, I got fucking fried, all right? I was losing my mind. You know when you hit that certain point of fried when you're looking down at your pants and you think you pissed yourself, but you didn't piss yourself. And you're juggling back and forth between the idea of, did I piss myself? No, I didn't fucking piss myself. That's gross. Wait, but it feels like I fucking pissed myself. 
And I'm like, dude, I think I'm going to fucking piss myself. So I asked my friend Gavin. He's sitting in the back seat, right? I asked him to get out of the car and to open my door. Because Jack's car, his passenger door doesn't open from the inside. And you have to open it from the outside. And Gavin gets out of the fucking car. And he just fucking stands there. He stands there for a solid two minutes. Just enjoying the fucking scenery. And he gets back in the fucking car. And I'm like, bro. I asked you to open my door. Will you please, for the love of God, open my fucking door so I can piss before I piss myself? And meanwhile, this whole time, Jack is just on the phone with his fucking girlfriend, but she, like, won't let him hang up. She's doing that, like, no, baby, please, kind of shit, you know? So he's over here struggling to hang the fuck up, and me and Gavin have to try not to laugh because he doesn't want his girlfriend to know that we're all fried out of our fucking minds. And... Me and Gavin just starts fucking giggling. I'm like, yo, I gotta piss so fucking bad right now, and you're really not gonna open my door. And he's like, all right, bro. He gets out of the car, does the same shit, stands there, looks around, scratches his fucking head, gets back in the fucking car. Yo, I'm going to piss everywhere. And the third time he gets out of the car after I fucking beg him. And he opens my door, finally. I I step out of this car that we've hotboxed for like the past 15 minutes. And I just breathe in some fresh air. And oh my god, I feel like, I feel like I'm in heaven. And so I walk over to a tree and I just publicly piss at the synagogue. And I get back into the car and Jack is still on the phone with his girl. We're all trying to go back to Gavin's house so we can just chill, watch some movies, eat some shit. And he will not hang up on her, bro. And so we sit there for another, like, 20 minutes. And Jack, Jack has a band performance to go to in, like, an hour and a half where he has to play for the basketball game. And he he wants me and Gavin to go to the basketball game. But keep in mind, I am, I'm not even on earth right now. I'm like, dude, I cannot go to that fucking basketball game. Everyone's going to know I'm fried. I look at me, I look so fucked right now. And I did, to be fair. I have videos from back then. I was pretty fucking baked. And um, and he kept pushing it. But guess what happened in the end? None of us went to that fucking basketball game. We all just sat at Gavin's house laughing about fucking everything. Everything was so funny. It was a great, great time. And ever since then, I've smoked weed like almost every fucking day. It was amazing. And, uh, well, yeah, that was my story. Um, so basically, if you have the opportunity to make a clay bong at church and bring it to a synagogue parking lot and smoke that shit up, do it. It's great. Good times. Just let go, don't look at me